Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic 2 Pro tutorial video. And today we're going to be doing an intelligent flight mode known as tap fly. So let's just get this started and let's get into our intelligent flight modes here on the DJI Go 4 app that you currently see right now. Far left of the screen, you'll see the four white icons. Guys, do you see the little remote controller? We're gonna wanna tap on that. It's gonna take us to our intelligent flight modes. Then the bottom row in the center, you will see tap fly. Let's tap on that. Okay, so the first things you're gonna notice is at the very bottom, we got a big black horizontal box with three different modes. And then to the right above that, we have a vertical black box with a little slider that you can see is going up and down. I've got my finger on there and that is our speed. I'm gonna keep it on about 10 miles an hour. Okay, so we're just going to stay with the first mode, which you can see is blue, says forward. That means the drone's just going to fly forward. Guys, do you see the horizon up there? You see the sky, then you see the horizon where the land uh, stops and the sky starts. You see that little um, horizontal white line? That basically represents our horizon, and if we tap above that, you'll notice that we get a little green flashing light that says go. If we tap below it, wherever we tap, same thing. So basically in tap fly, the way this works is you are actually, if you tap above that horizon and then hit go, the drone is going to start flying in that direction and it's going to continually ascend or raise an altitude until you give it other instruction. So we're set at 10 miles an hour and we're on forward. So let's just go ahead and do just that. Let's tap up above it and hit go. And you will notice that we are going 10 miles an hour down at the very bottom of the screen and the drone is at 115 feet, 116, 17, 18, 19, and it's gonna continually head that way in ascend until we give it further instructions. So let's say we want it to fly further to the left, but we want it to start dropping an altitude. Note that we're at 132 feet right now. I'm gonna tap below that white line, and as you can tell, the drone's gonna continually move forward. It's going to get centered up to head that way, and it says it is descending, so you'll see 125 feet, 124, 123. Okay, I think you guys get the picture. Then of course at any time, if you'll look to the far right, I'm going to slide up to about 16 miles an hour. Now the drone increases in speed. Also while descending, I don't wanna go down too far. I don't wanna to descend too far. So I'm gonna tap back up above the horizon and I'm gonna slow the drone considerably down. And so basically that's what the forward motion is. Now to stop at any time, if you look at the far left, you got the red ball with the white X, we're gonna click that and that just makes the drone stop and hover. Now we have our other modes, let's try reverse. Now it tells you fly in the opposite direction of where you tap. You can adjust the flight direction with the remote controller. So we're gonna click okay. Now guys, this is very important. This is something that I've learned. Wherever you tap, the drone is going to do just the opposite. So. If we tap right here and it says fly backwards, we're going to hit go. But if you tap below the horizon, the drone is actually going to ascend. If you tap above the horizon, the drone is going to descend. And keep in mind, I'm talking about in reverse mode here. We got the black horizontal box at the bottom. You'll notice reverse is blue because we're in that mode. So I want the drone to ascend. So I'm going to tap down here and I'm going to hit go. I'm going to go ahead and increase up to about 10 miles an hour. And you'll notice that the drone is flying backwards and it is ascending, okay? And then it's going to continue doing that until we give it a uh, different instruction. So let's just change it up one more time. I want it to continue to ascend and then I want it to kind of turn back more this way. So I tap down there and there you have it. And then let's just go ahead just to show you. We went ahead and increased the speed and now it is flying backwards, ascending at 17.9 miles an hour, and it will continue to do so until I give it further instruction. So now that we've gone over those two uh, modes in tap fly, let's check out the uh, next one. And of course, guys, like I said, over at the far left, you can hit the, uh, the red ball with the white X to stop your drone and pause it. And then our next one we have is free. Now free says, fly towards a chosen direction with the direction locked. You can adjust the camera direction to compose your shot with the remote controller. Tried this a couple times. Don't know that it works out perfectly, but this is a tutorial and I wanna showcase what it does. Now first of all, I'm gonna go down to about 10 miles an hour. We have free, so I'm going to tap and then I'm gonna hit go. 
So it acts a lot like forward in that now it is descending because we click below that white horizontal line and it's going at about 10 miles an hour, so everything's good to go. Now I'm going to experiment a little bit. I know you guys can't see my thumbs, but I'm, I just pushed left on the left stick, and now the drone is continually going that same way it was. It's just that the heading of the drone is looking a different direction, so that's pretty cool. So uh, you could kind of get it going backward. The drone heading the same way as far as where it's going from A to B physically but where the camera heading is, you can see that you can change it at any time. So that's really cool. And then of course, on the remote controller in the upper left corner of it, you have your little wheel that you can change the pitch or uh, angle of your camera or gimbal. So and you can also uh, change the pitch or angle of your camera slash gimbal while you're in those other two modes. So anyways, guys, um, that about does it for TapFly. Just wanted to show you guys really quickly what TapFly does. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I will continue to have more DJI Mavic 2 Pro videos upcoming in the future. As always, this is Dylan. I enjoyed it.